Hey guys, I thought I would show you a purchase that I just made, just showed up in the mail today at work, uh, something that will hopefully help out the production value of the live action videos that I make, a little bit at least. This is the Flashpoint Softbox Lite. It's got a 9.5 foot air cushion stand along with it, and a softbox in this box, along with a big compact fluorescent light. So let's go ahead and just start unboxing this thing, we'll see what we've got. So, as you'll see here, the box came a little bit dented up. It was actually inside of another box. Both of them were in separate boxes. And the other boxes looked a little bit rough, but they were, these were both packed very decently, so I'm not, not terribly concerned. Uh, this part, for example, is just a stand, so not really much that could go wrong with it, hopefully. Uh, you see it's got these fold-out legs that are going to be a little difficult to see. All of these appear to be very sturdy adjustable knobs. If I adjust these, I should be able to let the legs out. There we go. See, and it can extend. All right, and here you see we've got the legs extended. They actually extend quite a bit. That's surprisingly tall. That's actually probably four and a half, five, five feet, something like that. That's without extending the top at all. If I take it back down to a decently short length, though, and tighten this down, you see I've got these other knobs that I can extend with. So if I undo one, I raise and lower it, and if I wait, it just air cushioning takes the stand down. So that's pretty interesting, and it's got three separate ones for different height levels. You can take it, like I said, all the way up to nine and a half feet tall, so that's pretty impressive to me. Let me get this adjusted a little better. There we go, so I'm not putting too much, too much pressure on the tile. And the other box that came with this, this little white box, has a big old styrofoam container in it. This is the really impressive thing. I've already got one of these lights, these uh, specific light bulbs. And there we go. We're fighting with it for just a little bit. We've got this box here. I'll go ahead and open it up. That is the light bulb that I'm going to be using, hopefully. That is a 70 watt, 120 volt, 5500K compact fluorescent light bulb. It's supposed to put out an equivalent of about 325 watts with a normal incandescent bulb. It should be at least a little bit brighter than what I'm already using, which is a 300 watt uh, service light. So, here is the rest of it. It's this decently large black bag. Here at the bottom though we've got this little pouch with a white screen inside of it. That's going to be the front cover for our soft box. And then in here is the fun part. It's actually the meat of the package itself. This large reflective box. So this has a on-off switch within it, a power plug, there we go, and the uh, once we open it up, it's kind of like an umbrella box combination thing. There we go. We've got the uh, the mount on the inside, so that should be pretty interesting. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes and set this up, and I will let you guys know what happens. Alrighty, so here is the before lighting. I just wanted to test it and see how it works. This is an auto white balance, nothing changed. And this is the after. Now keep in mind, this is just the one light. This is not the the four lights that I had going before. So I've got some other things I can try out. Uh, I want to see if this color balance works for one thing. So that's enough for now. And this is how it looks with two lights. I've got the soft box over here and I've actually got my other uh, compact fluorescent light bulb I mentioned earlier just in my heat lamp over there. And here's one more test just for good measure. I turned off the overhead lights. I wanted to see if it made a difference. Actually, let me adjust one more thing because that doesn't look right. All right, how about now? Um, that's the thing, I might have to get this even even closer, and uh, I don't know how close I can get this without making a mess of things. Yeah, that's uh, literally like a foot and a half from my face. Not bad, though. I mean, I guess. A second one over here would probably help things significantly. The alternative is to put uh, two, or I mean one, like right there, but I can't get it to flip. Okay, and here's something else I'm just trying out. I just want to see how this lighting looks, how it works, things of that nature. Just a slightly different video layout. That light is awfully big and awfully bright. Um, let me try something different. Okay, so now we're trying it with the exposure settings turned off, uh, and I've got it auto white, or I've got it 
white balance, but custom white balance, so it shouldn't be changing at all. I'm going to move the light just a little bit. I'm actually going to move it to the side and down just a little bit and just see if that makes a difference. And now I am super dramatic. All right, and since you didn't get a chance to see the full assembled item before, this is basically it. You see you've got the soft box with the diffuser on top. You've got the stand that's holding it. Looks pretty decent. The one big issue that I do see with this so far, it doesn't have any way to flip it. Now it's 19 by 28 or 19 and a half by 27 and a half, so it's actually like 20 by 27 technically. So really it's not that much bigger uh, tall than it is wide, so it's really not that big of a deal. But it would just be kind of convenient if I could turn it the other way because that extra six, seven, eight inches does feel like quite a bit of extra light. Uh, however, if I do get a second one, I think that would make significant difference in the long run. So, I don't know. Let's, let's take another look at it just from the front. Sorry, I'm moving you around here. But there we go. That's how it looks directly in front of it. And you see you've got that little bit of a hot spot there in the middle from the light. Uh, but really, it doesn't transfer to film all the, or to digital, I guess, all that, all that much. Um, let's just move around here a little bit. Steady cam, try to. That's the, the setup. That's how it connects and everything. You've got the cable going down to the uh, power plug and all that flip-on switch and everything. Uh, and the, the stand itself is working very admirably. I can't say anything bad about it. The light itself, it's okay, actually. When I turn out the overhead lights, it has the most dramatic effect. So, I don't know, I might end up keeping it. Uh, it honestly, I will probably end up buying a second one, and I'll probably do some more experimentation. You see there my, my heat lamp, there-ish that has that extra swirly bulb in it. That's what I used for a couple of the tests. The final ones were actually just the, uh, the softbox on me alone. So maybe if I can sort of combine the two, have the heat lamp with the, the uh, swirly bulb pointing at the background and one or two softboxes in the front to get that three-point light effect, it might actually work out pretty well. So that's all for right now, though. I thought I would just give you a look at how things might be for the very near future. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.